about education, we think about students learning in the classroom, performing on the stage, and playing on the field. But we don't often think about where that occurs, or what goes into creating or rejuvenating those learning environments. Blue Valley has an opportunity to invest in facilities, safety, and technology across the district with Bond 2023. Generally speaking, Blue Valley has access to three types of funds, operating, bond, and capital outlay. The bond fund provides for the district's long-term investment strategies for facilities, safety, and technology. And it's important to note that these funds cannot be commingled, meaning bond funds cannot be used to pay for operating or capital outlay expenses. When it comes to facilities, Bond 2023 would allow Blue Valley to build new buildings and expand existing structures to better serve the needs of our students. When we talk about facilities, we're talking about taking care of our existing assets, but also expanding on what we have today to capture our growth, even in the Southern District. Um, looking at Aubrey Bend at over 800 students, we've got to build another middle school so we can reduce their student population. It's important in a middle school that students get what they need, but due to our large enrollment size, we've had to be very creative with our instructional spaces. So we've had to really work as a school community to best meet our students' needs. An additional middle school would provide sustained spaces for teachers and students in their day. Another exciting part about this bond is additional multi-purpose spaces at middle schools. So our participation numbers are just through the roof right now with um, whether it's volleyball, basketball, or performing arts and we just need additional rehearsal spaces, we need additional practice spaces. When our middle schools have six basketball teams, they don't have to practice again at six o'clock in the morning, and these additional spaces will allow more people to get involved and still be able to do it in a timely manner. And the last bond, uh, three of our high schools got a brand new gym, and so this will add a third gym to both Blue Valley Southwest and Blue Valley West High School. And additionally, uh, it'll add a performing arts space for Blue Valley North. Through increased enrollment and just uh, needing equity amongst all the high schools, North is getting that uh, extra performing arts space as well. In the Northeast District, we've seen growth at several of our elementary schools, and we've handled that through temporary mobile installations. It's time to get rid of those mobiles to take care of our students and our staff in those facilities. To have all of our students under one roof would be such a major improvement. Right now we have um, a classroom in the basement and then we have two mobiles that we have students outside. So when you've got students who need to go to the bathroom or go to specials or it's raining or any type of safety concern, it's an extra step to have to think through how are we going to get our friends from the mobiles back inside. So it would really impact us in a positive way. You know, CTE um, is an opportunity to expand upon the things that students learn in their core class as well and some of those reading and writing skills. Um, additionally though it's just a great spot um, for the critical thinking um, aspects of a, of a student's education. It's all of our business and computer courses, um, family and consumer sciences, industrial tech, journalism, digital media. Those are the courses right now that fall under the Blue Valley umbrella, CTE. If you're talking physical environment, those standards evolve as industry evolves. We have to create spaces that can give us an avenue to teach those standards to our students. And a lot of our discussion with those folks in these certain industries are, you know, what is taking place in industry? What does it look like out there so that we can try and mirror some of that here while we have those students so that again they're getting that relevant learning experience in the courses that we offer. What most people don't know is that our facilities are reaching the age of 29 years old on average and so we have to continue to invest in our aging facilities because if we don't we have significant failures in our mechanical systems, in our roofing systems, and in our doors and windows and when those things fail we cause disruptions to our learning environments which impacts our students and staff significantly. Bond 
2023 would also provide funds to ensure the safety and security of students and staff in every building in Blue Valley. We also talk about um, like layering different security measures into place to minimize risk of school violence. The risk is here, we can bring it down um, further and further and further, and we don't ever stop trying to do that. So that might be something physical, a physical security system. So we know that it's important that when we say our buildings are secure, that they are. We want our card access system to be robust. We want our intercom system to be robust so that our buildings are truly secure. In Blue Valley, safety is our number one priority. Timely, um, efficient communication is really important for school safety. And our current systems are analog systems. It's time for us to update those systems and find more efficient and effective communication. Technology improvements would also be covered by Bond 2023 funds, allowing for replacement and refurbishing of student and classroom technology. What's difficult is that the technology, you know, will die out. And we spend more time than really kind of troubleshooting because we're trying to, you know, reconnect and find this and find that. And so as teachers, we have to like just figure it out. Um, but as the technology ages, we, we're gonna find the same thing and things aren't gonna work. And so it, it you know, that would be definitely a challenge. Technology refreshes in, in pretty quick cycles these days. And um, our devices, we wanna make sure kids have the most up-to-date devices and are using things that are used out in the real world. So refreshing devices is, is key to continuing uh, to provide the best education possible for our kiddos in Blue Valley. Projects in the 2023 bond would generally be completed over three years. These targeted projects meet needs across the district and impact each and every one of our 22,000 students. Being good stewards is a responsibility we take seriously in Blue Valley. Our strong history of refinancing and prepaying debt to save taxpayers money has enabled this to be a no tax rate increase bond to invest in facilities, safety, and technology. For 2022, the Blue Valley Board of Education approved a four mil decrease to the overall budget mill rate. Uh, this brought down the mill rate to 54 mills, which is the lowest it's been in over 20 years. Uh, that coupled with a AAA bond rating from Moody's, the district is in a great position to offer a no tax bond issue in front of voters. I can't imagine anything more important to a community than their schools. You know, whether you have children um, or not, your schools, that's what people move to your community for. And our children are our future, of course, and we want them to be well educated and they're gonna be our leaders. So I can't imagine any investment better than in our future. And that's really what schools are all about. Blue Valley Schools is the cornerstone of economic development in this area. For businesses like ours, it not only helps us prepare the talent of the future, but attract the town of today, as when folks are choosing whether or not to relocate to accept one of our positions, often top of mind is the quality of a school district.